Fox News contributor and friend of the show, Jessica Tarlov, is here, along with a legend in the liberty movement, Reason Magazine editor-at-large, Matt Welch, and former New York Congresswoman and member of the Independent Women's Forum Board of Directors, Nan Hayworth, returns. Welcome, everyone. Hi. Kennedy. Uh, so, Nan, of all of us here at the Plexiglass Oval, you were the only one who's actually sat in Congress. Yeah. What do you think of this tax plan? Oh, I, th I think it is a tremendous step forward for us. Can it be improved? I'm sure it can be, but this represents as you just uh, so eloquently explained, a real return of resources, capital, and control to the American citizens. And that's what we need, because when I was in Congress, what I saw firsthand was the way government squanders your money, mm -hmm. because government is political. So everything that's done via government is done with cronies uh, and established bureaucracies. Yeah, cronies, and, whether right, they're corporations or unions, and that ends up exactly. hurting individuals. So what do libertarians get out of this bill? What is the libertarian perspective? Well, the best thing that you get is a lower uh, tax rates for basically everybody, except if you live in New York and work in the media. Except I for think. us. <laughs> except yeah. for yeah. everybody at this table gets a, maybe takes in the shorts. But uh, the vast majority of Americans who pay federal income tax plus corporations, all of that is to the good. The flip side of all of that is that we're getting to a stage now where the Committee for Responsible Budget says we're going to get to trillion dollar deficits as soon as next year. Uh, in order to pass this, Republicans passed a 10-year budget resolution that was based on fiction. This is best case scenario. They always are. Um, yeah. Increasing the deficit by $1.5 trillion. Uh, that has a problem, an adverse impact on economic growth, which Republicans talked about a lot between 2009 and 2014. They've stopped talking about that. What I worry about is that we're going to get a lot of good stuff happening to the economy because of these tax cuts, I think, and also because of some of the uh, regulatory activities the Trump administration has done. But if we have 100 120 percent, you know, debt to GDP ratio that has a bad impact. You know what it's like? It's like having a great body and an ugly face. Thank you. Yeah, that's exactly Which what it's is like. still better than a bad body and an ugly face. Yeah, that's, thank you, yes. Jessica Tarlov. Well said. You're welcome. So, um, as I you pointed out, there there are a lot of people on the left who say uh, Nancy Pelosi used the word Armageddon. I know. In regards to this legislation, why do you hate money? <laughs> no, I love money, and I'm going to have a little bit more of it, I think. I need to double check. But um, that's the talking point. It's the talking point, frankly, that Donald Trump even used during the campaign where he said, I'm going to make hedge funders really pay. We shouldn't be getting this much money. They're going to be getting more money from this. Trish Regan, I would recommend everyone look at the clip that's posted on Fox Business of her, where she said, this isn't how it was supposed to be. The private equity guys are not supposed to be this much better off. We know, uh, what is it, the top? 83% of the cuts are going to the top 1%. They are the ones who pay the most taxes. Yeah. M my main issue, that and this seems is to get... fuzzy. The 1% argument is very dishonest. Okay, fine. Then so forget I that. I'm about, respectfully I'll, I'll say something else. You. Okay. My... My point about the tax cuts are, if you were so concerned about making sure that middle and lower income Americans got a break, why they didn't go higher with the individual cut? I get the corporate cut, and that makes sense. And certainly if you're an, a trickle-down enthusiast, this is great. But this was or something Republican... They're different. Mm -hmm. uh, this was something that even Republicans were saying, like, why aren't we cutting the individual rate by Nan saying that she knows? I so know, I'll like, let her Reconciliation. Say. Reconciliation. Because yeah. of the process. That, and, and Jessica, you are a, an outstanding Democrat. You're a rational, smart Democrat. But Democrats in the Senate, unfortunately, refuse to get on board with any of this. Yeah, they there's would, there's some who I think would just, benefit if, right, if they, they brought just, this exactly. message back to their states I, and are, articulated right. the message of economic growth, mobility, Precisely. and opportunity. Precisely. And because they wouldn't, the, the Republicans were left to try to pass a bill with basically only 50 votes and Pence is the tiebreaker. So they chose reconciliation instead of getting rid of the filibuster, which would have been what I would right. have liked them to do. Reconciliation sets pay fors and limitations, and that's why we couldn't lower individual rates more. That's so many rules, you guys. <laughs> All right, the party panel returns a little bit later. We're going to continue our tax talk.